You've more than likely had chili before, as well as mac and cheese, but let's combine the two to create this absolutely delicious meal. Let's go straight into it. To start, we're going to need one brown or yellow onion. We can slice off the tip, slice it in half through the root, and then we can just remove those annoying skins and you can save them for a stock. As for the onion itself, just make thin slices across, stopping at the root. This will keep it intact. Rotate at 90 degrees and slice horizontally through the center to break up the formation. Then just go through and dice this into small to medium sized pieces, making sure you trim off any excess flesh from around the root, just so we don't have any waste and that can be saved for a stock also. The second thing we need to prepare is four cloves of freshly peeled garlic. These can be ran along a microplane or fine box grater just to create a paste and make sure you scrape it all out of there just so you don't have any waste. Last but not least, run 100 grams of mozzarella cheese on the larger side of a box grater, doing the same thing with cheddar cheese as well. And you can pretty much use any cheese of your choice. Just make sure it's a good melting cheese and then just give this a little wiggle just to make sure it all comes out. Now into a pan over medium high heat, add in a splash of olive oil as well as 500 grams of beef mince. This is 18% fat beef mince, salt to taste, and then just let it cook for about two minutes without touching it, which will form a crust on the beef. Then we can break this up with a wooden spoon, making sure everything's nice and separated, and then cook this for about three minutes, just until the majority of it is no longer pink. With that done, add in the diced onions as well as the pasted garlic. You can also use minced garlic as well. Crack black pepper to taste, I recommend about 15 cracks worth. And then get in there and give this a really good mix through and cook it for about three to four minutes. We just want the onions and garlic to infuse into the beef as well as the onions to become nice and translucent. Let's then introduce the spices, seven grams of ground cumin for an earthy warmth, one and a half grams of red chili powder for a little bit of heat, two and a half grams of smoked paprika for those smoky peppery notes. Two and a half grams of mustard powder for that nice pungent extreme flavor, as well as salt to taste. And then get in there, mix this around again, and only cook this for about one and a half minutes just to get that infusion into the beef and for those flavors to become friends. To increase the flavor further, add in 15 milliliters of apple cider vinegar for a bit of acidity, six grams of brown sugar for caramelization and to counter that acidity, two grams of allspice for even more earthy warmth, 30 grams of tomato ketchup, this will increase depth, 15 grams of yellow mustard or American mustard or even New York style mustard. It has three different names for even more pungent flavor. You can leave that out if you wanted to. 100 grams of concentrated tomato paste for even more depth and probably one of the most important ingredients in this recipe. And 250 milliliters or one cup of beef stock, which is the liquid that's going to bring everything together. Let's then mix this all around really well, bring this to a simmer, and what we're going to do once it's at a simmer is reduce it to low, and then just let this cook for about 20 to 25 minutes, and we can move this out of the way for the time being. Just before the end, we can add a pot of water over a high heat, bringing it to a boil, and also generously season it with salt. Once it is at a boil, add in 300 grams of macaroni. I ended up using spirals for this recipe just because I think they pick up the sauce a lot better. Then mix this around just so they don't clump up and cook this for about two minutes less than the packet instructions. And then once that's done, this can just be removed and drained. Going back to the chili, give this a really good mix through. It should be a beautiful rich sauce right now with a deep color and smell. If it is a little bit too dry, you can definitely add a bit more beef stock. Once you're happy with it though, we can add in the cooked macaroni or whichever pasta you chose to use, and then just gently fold this together until everything's combined and everything has that beautiful color and smell. The last thing to do is just sprinkle over all of that cheese, which is the cheddar and the mozzarella. Just make sure you spread it out evenly though and every little bit's covered on top. You can also add a bit more cracked black pepper here if you wanted to. I ended up adding about 15 more cracks and you can also hit it with some more salt if it needs it. Then transfer this over to a preheated oven on the grill or broiler setting at 200 degrees Celsius. Just cook this for about three to four minutes until that cheese has beautifully melted. Now, as you've seen in the intro for that delicious cheese pool, this is it right here. It has beautiful moisture, it smells amazing, and it looks beautiful as well. We can then serve this on a plate or in a bowl or eat out the pan for all I care. It's completely up to you. And this should serve about four to six people, depending on portion sizes. I like to hit it up with a little bit of Parmesan cheese at the end. This is completely optional. You can even add more cheddar or mozzarella, as well as some cracked black pepper. But right here is this beautiful dish. It is absolutely delicious and I can't wait for you to try it yourselves. Now the only thing there is left to do is of course we can then dig in. If you've never had this combination of flavors before, definitely do make this. And if you have, definitely do make this. It's absolutely incredible. It's delicious, it's easy to make, and it's cheap as well. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, consider subscribing along with hitting the bell notification next to it so you never miss one I upload. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.